kill him and it turned around and blew him up in one shot. <laughs> okay, and for some reason there was a guy with a carriage and now we're in here. Randomly. <laughs> oh yeah, and then he disappears and then he shows up the next level. And you are beginning to see a pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm swapping this level in the next one. And uh, I think we need to work out the carriages and the boats. Okay, right. Need password for up here. I think the boats can be explained because level three was not in the shareware. Yeah. Uh, not in the, so yeah. I, I think so. It went straight from two to four, and it made sense then. And somehow that kind of and then the level was inserted. Okay, I'm out of the rounds. Good map, just kind of out of order. Oh. Oh, nice. Is that secret? Here we go. Oh, you know what? I never got the backpack thing on level one, or the, the briefcase with oh. the ammo. So I only have a hundred max. Whoops. Uh, I I managed to find another briefcase, so I have the max on. Oh, did you find one? Yeah. Oh, cool. I will need to. I know there's got to be one around here somewhere. <laughs> Not sure where I'm at or where I'm going, so. It's... I know where the one in map 21 is. <laughs> I renamed my map to map 21 for this test, but it actually I uh, changed it so we'll play level 16 and then jumps to 21 and then back to 17. It was gonna replace 16, but it will in the uh, full version just. Out. <laughs> I call it the full version now. Like, okay. This is official. Okay, Hex 1.2 is going to be known as Purist Edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's catchy. Okay. It's funny because it'll be the Purist Edition, but it'll be kind of the dirtier one. Yeah. In more ways than one. Okay, I'm still in this room. I cannot figure out how to get out of it. Let me check my map here for a second. You got it. I know who I, I, I. <laughs> Oh, here. Oh, okay, I can oh there's an out. Yeah, that got me out of there. Um, now what about this area? <laughs> Besides someone uh, hitting the elevator down there. Uh, one of these switches has oh. to do it. Oh, that one. No oh, fudge. Is that a bug? Oh, no bug. I just I heard the uh, dang monstruck noise. This thing always makes me jump. Like, not like scaredyness, but like, oh great. I'm about to get creamed again. Yeah, but we're, uh, okay, so now um, Maniac just joined us up here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got the password and I'm up. I guess it's back to the start. South. The southmost room. I've got everything now. Okay, so how did you get out of this area? <laughs> Is it... The same call to Are y'all stuck? Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. if you lowered the elevator, we could get out. Oh. I guess we have to go this way. Which yeah. is kind of annoying because it's even smaller. Oh, okay. Oh. Single file. No. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> My head hurts now. <clears throat> Your turn. <laughs> it's head banging. <laughs> not, not the fun kind, but... Uh, you might want to get off the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Hey, I'm off. Okay. <laughs> I should get some popcorn. This is entertaining. <laughs> okay, now where are we going? Oh. Seems that things have been pretty cleaned out. I've been through uh, most of this part. Uh, yeah. Just need yeah. to go down a little bit. <laughs> in, in case you haven't noticed, I'm covering our rear. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
There's a switch. Of course, that, in my oh. There's a switch for throwers that's corner. Oh. Uh, someone uh, someone lower that lift to bail Maniac out. He's up in the room again. Uh, you can, uh. Here, I'll do it. Yes, in some of my levels that I made in the past, you do have to have a rear guard because I would always uh, do tricky little things like uh, populate areas that people have already cleared. It's really cool when you do that from the rear, like you enter an area and, okay, there's monsters. You start shooting them and then suddenly get attacked from behind. <laughs> I yes. love how they these, mo these guys are supposed to be hidden, but their heads are sticking out like five inches or five feet. Whichever one's bigger. That one. Okay, now I know where I'm going to see. Uh, yeah, this one uh, trick I learned when I was making the Stromos run, my first level was the uh, uh, off map, off the main map, I would put these little, um, what I called, um, transporter boxes mm -hmm. with a wall on it. And then I'd have a transporter line which could, uh, broken down into several different sectors where it would... Uh, teleport creatures to various locations and then uh, somebody would trigger a switch and it would open that wall they'd walk into the teleporter beans and repopulate an area it works pretty good for uh, places that you've been to before yeah what's really good is when you have a lot of uh, when you teleport monsters like around you like you, you pick up something and suddenly you're surrounded yeah oh I was like that like my hall of death in Mr. Almost Run <laughs> I haven't played that map in a long time I gotta pull it out again Oh, nice. It's funny, out of all the stuff I've done, that's probably the thing I've gotten the most compliments out of. It's just that one simple area, the Hall of Death. <laughs> the trick's been used a lot these days, but yeah. uh, back then, that was revolutionary. I remember being completely amazed by it on Ultimate Doom, Episode 4, Level 1. They would just teleport out of nowhere. I was like, where are, they, where are these things coming from? It freaked me out. Okay. Who's dropping things? Oops. Oh, fudge. Ooh. <laughs> that match for the four of us. Well, that's, I guess, about it. That monstruct really didn't have much of a chance on that one. <laughs> Not this okay. time. Oh, look, it's outdoors. This looks so awesome. Uh, so that, that was the Great Wall. It's absolutely <laughs> Yeah, it didn't look much like a bit Great Wall. <laughs> the walls around the big box were bigger. <laughs> Weren't supposed to be there. Okay. 